Okay, so this is a 2006 Fairline Targa 52 GT. And I'm gonna give you a very quick tour today because it's freezing. <laughs> so let's go and have a look. Now you're gonna get bored of me saying this, but I sold these new as well. This 2006 boat was one of the first boats that we started selling when we were Fairline dealers back in the day. And they were really popular then and they're really popular now. They're a very sleek looking boat. And actually, I don't think it's dated an awful lot. Have a look at the side, it's, see the side of the boat there? It hasn't dated much. Now, what's nice about this particular one is the owner in 2019 spent a fortune upgrading it. So this boat has got this high-low platform. Now, normally, I mean, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to see where the new bit is, but that is the standard platform on the 52. And this is the addition. And this bit goes up and down so you can swim easily to and from the boat. So that's the first thing he did. The second thing he did, which is very unusual, is he added a sea keeper, which stops your drink spilling. And that's quite a lot of money. That's probably 50,000 pounds. That's not cheap. That looks like 25,000. So we've got 75,000 pounds worth of extras. So let's do a full tour of this boat, starting with the cockpit. Oh, before we go in the cockpit, this is a garage. This opens up here and it takes a Williams 285. But let's go inside because it's a bit warmer. So we have got all the usual bits and pieces, but we've got electric GRP hardtop like the Targa 47, which is the smaller sister. But we've got a really sociable cockpit. We've got two forward facing seats here for the driver, two or three seats here for the driver's friends and family. And then in the back there, Dan, we've got this lovely C-shaped seating. And then I'm gonna take my shoes off. We've got a sun lounger here. Oh, do you check out the socks? They're my Beatles ones. They're quite nice, aren't they? Um, we've got a sun lounger here. And we've got another sun, two sun loungers here. So you can get three people lazing around on this back area. And it's a really nice space. And the upholstery's been redone. The hoods are new. Even the cushions are new. Look at those cushions. Do you like those? You can talk, you know. We'll go and show the, we'll do the engine room next. But we'll go and do the helm. So, let's talk about the helm. Okay, this is not a normal 2006 Fairline Targa 52 dashboard. We've got all the latest electronics from Raymarine. I think they're touchscreen. Yeah, they're touchscreen. We've got proportional thrusters, which you never get on a boat of this age. In fact, these didn't come out until about 2016 onwards in popularity. There's the Sea Keeper screen, which is, have a look down, Sea Keeper screen. And then we've also got this dock mate. What's that noise? I don't press anything away. Anyway, this twiddles the boat around. And you can walk around with it. Oh, it's making beeps. I don't think I've pressed anything. You can walk around with it and control your boat like a big radio control boat. How cool is that? You've also got, you see the dash, Dan? You've got all paired gauges. You've got the latest EVC controls. Look at the great visibility on this grey, overcast, cold January day. But you know what's coming? It's got a manual shout window. God, it's cold, it's cold. It's really cold. Oi, get the fenders in. 
And I'll tell you what else I just noticed. It's got teak side decks. You can have a look for that window, Dan. It's got teak side decks. Show, show them the teak side decks. Really, really comfortable. You see the teak side decks? And actually, that's flexi teak. It's not real teak. So it's very, very nice. So let's go down and look at the saloon. Okay, come down. We're going to show you around down here. What have we got there? I don't know. It's cute though, isn't it? And there's some more on board as well. Now, I think the first thing I would do is take this protective film off the table. Because as you can see, it's air bubbled. But the good news is, it's like brand new underneath. Look at that. That is lovely. And this is called American Cherry Gloss. And in 2006, this was the norm. Now, while you're there and I'm here, here's the power board, which controls the boat, all the on-off systems, the wee-wee tank, the generator, and all, everything else is all located there. Again, like all Fairlines, it's all um, wood from the same planks. So you can see the wood is all matching and you've got loads of nice cupboards. Now, you can tell an awful lot by a boat by looking at the fridge and seeing what the owner's got in there. So I've never had an owner that's left me and your Prezi, Dan. Always a first. Yeah, sometimes I get a mouldy Mars bar. Yeah. Sometimes I get a one-year can of milk. But today, oh, we've, been treated. we've been treated. We've got some Verve Clicos Rosé. And we've got two bottles of that. We've got two bottles of Peroni. And we've got some Soda Stream, son. So, lucky and also, us. lucky us. So, and also, I've got a couple of treats for you. Oh, lovely. Look at that. So after this video, we'll have a little sit down and a drink. So this boat is three cabins. There's no mid-master. The forward cabin is the VIP master. And we've got two cabins either side. We've got sorry, one cabin either side, which are twins. And we've got a day ahead. So let's start off with the master. All right, mate. So this is the Ford Master, and we've got a hedgehog, and we've got a doggy, and they're very nice, and the towers are nice too. These are heavy. Are they door stops? We've got so many pillows on the bed. I can't actually get on the bed. Look, they go all the way down here. But you know that's a good sign. So we've got wardrobes coming. We've got wardrobes. Here, yeah, with a light in it. You can tell the boat's its age because we have curtains and not blinds, but I think they're quite tasteful. Lovely wood detailing, more cupboards there. Air conditioning controls. A little bit of detail I want to show you. See that air vent? That's all handmade from wood. That is a lot of work and it directs the current, the airflow, so you can have it in different places in the room. There's more storage there. And then, if we shut the door, if you go over there, Dan, we've got a little bathroom in here. Oh, it's cold in here. And it's absolutely immaculate. If you think this boat is 2006, and we're 22. How old's that? It's 14, 15, 16 years, sorry, 16 years old. Right, we've got the Fairline shower, which is strapped in place, taped in place. And this boat easily passes the floss test. In fact, it's an absolute pleasure, apart from that creaky floor. I can't believe how clean it is. Look how clean it is down here, look. Even the toilet's clean. It is immaculate. So let's go and see the other cabins. Before I show you the other cabins, we have got a few things in the galley. We've got a microwave oven, got two burner hob. We've got loads of storage here with all the cutlery in, which is all included, sir, or lady, or madam. We've got the sink and we've got the secondary sink here. 
and cupboards all along here. So lots and lots of space. Look, we've got oddments there. Who's that? Bose surround sound. I think we've got TV here. Yeah. Oh, I want to show you this. Also, like all Fairlines, it's got a GRP liner. So everything in the boat has got a GRP liner. Look, all under here. Beautifully made. Just details that you don't get on every single boat. I'm not going to name and shame the others, but this boat's got a GRP liner. So, starboard cabin first. Plenty of room. These change to make into a double. We've got TV, we've got storage. It's a really nice cabin, really nicely made. The toilet is back there, Dan, look. The day head. This is another bathroom. So both bathrooms up ahead. So this is the one that those cabins use, all right? I won't bother doing the floss test because I'm sure it'll pass. And this is cabin three, which is on the port side, and it's another twin. Have a little look with a wardrobe, TV, etc., etc. So it's a nice space. So let's go back upstairs and give you a quick summary. Okay, so this is the access to the engine room where you've got the twin Volvo D12 800s which are on shaft drive and will give this boat about 34, 35 knots. It's quite a quick boat. Um, you've got a 250 nautical mile range and you'll use about 150 litres per hour. Also, this boat, as you've probably seen, is up for £349,950. So in, it's a three cabin, twin diesel, shaft drive boat. So it's super simple technology. So what can I say about this boat in the summary? Well, I think it's start, she's starting to show her age. I think they still look good, Targa 52 GTs. It's three cabin, which at 50 feet is the norm nowadays. So that's good. It hasn't got a mid-master, so the forward cabin is smaller than you'd get on a modern 50-footer. But I still think the boat looks great. Um, what I like about it is its simple design and um, features. For example, the shaft drive. Um, that keeps maintenance bills to a minimum, and they very rarely go wrong. I think what I like with this boat too is that in 2019 2020 it's had an awful lot of money spent on her so i can see things wherever i look that have been upgraded um, i don't know the total bill but i wouldn't be surprised if this boat's had a hundred hundred twenty five thousand pounds spent on her looking at things like the proportional controls etc so although 350 is dear for a 2006 you're probably buying a much newer boat. So in summary, I think if you've got about 350,000 to spend and you want three cabins, you want a quality British brand and you want the bonus of a sea keeper and a high low platform, I guarantee you, you will not find anything else like this. The boat is on our website now on boats.co.uk. If you're interested, this is Jen being filmed in January 22. She's still available at this time. I don't think she'll hang around for long. It's an absolute corker. Oh, it even comes with this box of Kleenex. It's a really nice cabin, really nicely made. The toilet, the day head, oh. <laughs> the toilet, 